I have uh, here, I put uh, two questions. So one is, uh, can I find stress strain data for unfilled ABS? Um, so I'm looking for a specific data for a specific material. And then if I find the data, how can I get this data into ANSYS Workbench? So with that, let's, uh, let's open the uh, program. So this is uh, it's a program called Grantor Selector, um, a, a database that you can you can make these uh, into intelligent uh, filtering and search criteria too. And uh, again, this is what I'm showing you here. Is it's not like the only solution that could do this, um, but uh, due to to time and simplicity, I'm just showing everything in in one solution. Um, so uh, the idea is that we can go here and uh, what I, I will do is uh, I'll firstly choose which, which database I want to, uh, to find data from. Then uh, the next thing I will do is saying I only want to look at plastics from the ABS family. So that will bring me down to I have 24 records here. Then I will also say make a demand for the data that I can actually, uh, I should be able to have a uh, true stress strain data for this. So with that, I now have uh, narrowed it down to, I have seven different versions of ABS that I have true plastic stress strain for. So with a few clicks, I can actually get, um, I mean, information about which, uh, which record has the data I need. So uh, you can then, of course, also access the data. As you can see here, we have uh, here we have the the true plastic stress strain curve, and I can just, without going in, into too much detail, I can just show you this this uh, long uh, data sheet with with a lot of different uh, information. For instance, here we have, uh, I mean, I showed we had stress strain and mechanical uh, thermal properties. But we also have some of them, you could call a little more fluffy perhaps, uh, but something like how much CO2 or energy would you actually need to make this material? Okay, um, so that was the, was the first, first question that we have found some data, um, but the next question is, can we actually take this data into uh, ANSYS Workbench? So um, what I, I will do here is, uh, that uh, I can show that uh, we can actually export material cards for a lot of ANSYS solutions and also some uh, some non-ANSYS ones. Um, in this case, I will just do uh, uh, another thing. I will use uh, an integration with, with ANSYS Workbench, and then uh, I will take this data and take it into Workbench. So like this, it has been, uh, it has been uh, exported to, uh, to ANSYS Workbench with just a few clicks. And again, this is just uh, one example of, of how uh, Granta Solutions is integrated with other ANSYS tools. So um, if I jump in, into Workbench, you can see that we have actually, uh, we've actually taken the data here. And we now have a multilinear isotropic hardening data in, in Workbench. So, uh, if we jump back to the slides, that was uh, the two questions. How can I find the data? And how can I get the data into Workbench? Mm -hmm.